Hello, BookTube. Matthew at Maybury Book Club and I decided a while ago to make his channel name a reality. We decided to make a little book club <laughs> between the two of us. We've never met in person, probably never will meet in person, but it's been enormous amounts of fun to roam all over and pick things. We, I, we had one misstep entirely due to me uh, at the end of last year. I should never make any commitments, BookTube or otherwise, at any point in the month of December. And I just... I always forget that, and I always end up letting people down in December. But otherwise, we've had a, a blast, and we're currently having a blast. We're reading uh, the graphic novel Daredevil Born Again, written by Frank Miller and drawn by David Mazzucchelli. We're reading that for the month of February. Uh, so we're wrapping that up this weekend, which seems high time to tell you what we'll be doing for March. <laughs> now, March is full of booktube events. I'm sure you've seen a lot of them. Two of the ones that are foremost on my radar are... Uh, March of the Mammoths, and March Mystery Madness. March of the Mammoths celebrates huge books, books that are 800 pages or more. And March Mystery Madness, of course, by the name, celebrates murder mysteries in all their different forms. So on the one hand, for March of the Mammoths, you have a large undertaking. You might still love reading, of course, we all do, but it's a large undertaking to take on a book that size. And on the other hand, you have murder mysteries. You can... You can pop them down in rapid succession. They are often unbelievably enjoyable. And uh, for March, Matthew and I, for the Maybury Book Club, are going to combine key elements of both of those readathons. We're going to do mysteries uh, for March, and we're going to do them in such quantity uh, as to maybe break Matthew. It's my attempt to break him. <laughs> we are reading Sherlock Holmes in the month of March, for March Mystery Madness and for the Maybury Book Club. We are reading the Sherlock Holmes short stories. Now, you're probably going to want me to give you a rundown of which ones we'll be reading. Uh, all of them. <laughs> we'll be reading all the Sherlock Holmes short stories in March. So, as Matthew says in his announcement video, that works out to about two stories a day. <laughs> and I think, right now, I'm not sure, I think he's going to attempt to do a separate video on each one of those. Now, I don't know any other booktuber makes two videos a day, other than me. <laughs> I don't know anybody else who does that. I don't know anybody else who has the time. Uh, and I don't know that he has, uh, what kind of mental bandwidth it takes. It, it, will he be able to do it? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Will he be able to do all of it, even if he starts? We shall see. And also the last question, which is, will I do that? I'm not 100% sure. I, a part of me kind of likes the idea of doing a standalone video for every Sherlock Holmes short story. Part of me kind of likes that idea, so I'll mull it over a bit. I've still got time, uh, but I might. I very well might. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make an announcement ahead of time uh, so you can grab whatever collected Sherlock Holmes or there's a wonderful paperback. Uh, they're all available online. They're all available on Google, Project Gutenberg for free or you know anywhere else. They're, these things are everywhere. It, if you have been curious, maybe you read uh, The Sign of Four, and then a novel like The Hound of the Baskervilles. More people have read The Hound of the Baskervilles than have read any Sherlock Holmes short story. If you've read a couple of those things and you really like them and you're wondering, well, you know, what it would be like to read them all, here's a perfect opportunity <laughs> to read them all for the month of March. Uh, they don't take long to do. You could do two a day without really interfering with the rest of your reading plans. You really could do that. They don't take much time to do. Uh, and we'll be going into why. <laughs> we'll be talking about all of it. So Sherlock Holmes short stories is the next thing the Maybury Book Club is doing. So I thought I'd make a quick announcement video just to let you know and give you time to prepare. Uh, so I'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you, BookTube.